Hi friends, it's Tiffany from Quarter Acre Clee. So today I'm making my June video of the Quarter Acre. And we are currently sitting in the front of the house, in front of the lavender, see? I wanted to start here because this is peak prime lavender loveliness right now. And I wanted to show it to you guys because Obviously, I'm obsessed with lavender. We're starting a lavender farm. But I wanted to show you the first lavenders that started this whole situation. These are my OG lavender plants. And they are still producing. They're at least, I think we're in our sixth year. And they're still looking beautiful, as you can see. This is only five plants. So I wanted to show you them up close because this is almost perfect time. I'm gonna probably harvest these on Friday. I'm taking fresh lavender to the farmer's market. And I wanted to show you, because I get a lot of questions, when to harvest lavender and how to harvest lavender. I mean, that could be a whole video on itself, but I'll do a quick run through. So let's talk about the lavender really quick. This is head coat lavender here. Look at the blooms. This is almost the perfect time. See how they're nice and purple here? And they have not opened yet. You do not, if you're going to use these for like arts and crafts or for culinary purposes, you really don't want them to be opened up completely. See how they're nice and the bulbs are still really tight? I'll show you here. That's almost perfect. I mean, in the next few days, they're going to get really, really nice and beautiful. And I'm going to harvest them. So, speaking of that, when you harvest them, I do not cut them too low. See, look down here. This is the woody part. See this woody section here? Let's just look here. Look how woody that gets. You do not want to cut that right here. Don't cut into this. This is the actual part of the plant. If you cut into this, it'll kill the plant. So when I harvest, I go up and I'm gonna cut like right here. See that? See how this greenery? And so I'll get all of this little flowers down, 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 down. And I will cut these right around here. Don't cut the woody part. See how I'm not cutting this woody section? There, that's where I'm cutting. So. I'm not going to do it today because I want to give them a few more days to um, get some sun. But thought I would show you my lavender. She's looking pretty these days. I'm obsessed with head coat lavender. If you're in Ohio or Northeast Ohio or the Midwest, head coat is the variety you want to plant. How pretty is that? Okay, that's pretty much for the front yard I wanted to show you. I'm gonna walk to the backyard and we're gonna talk about things. But I am gonna preface this. I don't have time to weed. There are weeds everywhere. Don't judge me. I'm being honest, I'm being real. There are weeds and uh, that's my life right now. Okay, so let's go to the backyard. Don't look at the weeds. Where's Bella? Look at the cosmos. Hi, babies. Bella's back here somewhere. Bella, where are you at? Bella. Come here. Hi. Okay, the weedy backyard. But this, I want to start back here because I didn't even know what the, uh, Bella, stop. Oh, hey. There's Renee, our neighbor. Say hi, Renee. We're doing the June tour. <laughs> All right. Okay, Bella. Okay. All right. So we're going to talk about herbs today because the herb garden is a hot mess, but um, we're producing things. So that's like kind of what I want to say is like I'm crazy busy I haven't weeded much I do weed around the things I want to hold on let me quiet the dog Bella enough thank you okay so I weed around the herbs that I really want to like save um but other than that these days it's just you know it is what it is so let me show you this we've got 
plenty of cilantro here. This is cilantro. We're making tacos for dinner tonight. I've got my dill. I'm gonna harvest some of this today, or no, on Friday and sell at the market. We've got lots of little baby dills. We've got lots of dill. Uh, the calendula is looking amazing. Got a bunch of calendula here, because you guys know I love calendula. There's uh, the calendula. More cilantro, it's kind of starting to bolt because it's been so hot, no water. This is lovage. Have you guys ever had lovage before? It's literally like a perennial herb that tastes like uh, celery. It's crazy, it tastes like celery. You should plant it and it comes back every year. Look it, we've got chamomile. Chamomile is happy. We got lots of chamomile coming in. So we're gonna keep making the famous honey chamomile soap that you guys are obsessed with. And this is just my out of control mint patch. Like the mint and the weeds have taken over and whatever, it is what it is. So let's uh, continue on. Let's go over here and see what we got going on here. All right, I'm gonna make this fast because there is a lot going on. The grapes are doing pretty good. Look at the grapes. Um, one of them is Concord and the other is something else, but uh, I forget what variety, so it'll be a surprise, but they're doing good. Little nasturtiums and a little nasturtium flower. Hi, cutie. And the weedy yarrow coneflower snapdragon bed. But look at, we got yarrow coming in. I'm gonna be making flowers soon. Amongst the weeds, we got snapdragons coming in. So you guys know it's been, it hasn't rained in over three weeks. So I've been watering this as much as I can, but I don't know if you guys know, I also am working like three jobs. Echinacea. So I'm doing the best I can, friends. Here's the more yarrow. I'm excited about this stuff. And then that takes us over here. So we have zinnias that are doing okay. And then I have my daisies from, I moved those to the backyard and then I have sunflowers. And then the weird rain garden-ish thing we got going here. So let's go over here. Zinnias are not doing bad. They're doing pretty good. We've got what, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, yeah, 25 or 30 zinnias. We got some daisies that are about to bloom. And the sunflowers. Look at this patch of sunflowers. I gotta plant more as some successions, but I mean, this baby wants to bloom. Look at that. And we have a rabbit living in the garden. Exhibit A. Got some black-eyed Susans here. And then over here, it's a mess, but we're, we're, we're okay. More yarrow, snapdragons, snapdragons amongst the grass and weeds. Now this is bee balm. I'm really excited about this. It's also called Monarda, bee balm Monarda. Down here, it's doing pretty good. It's perked up is my status. So these are all cut flowers that I will be making bouquets with. So we got a bunch of status weeds going down this row. And then that takes us into the amaranth row. Not doing terrible. Look at how cute they are. And look at the red ones. Oh my gosh, these weeds are out of control. Look at this. So we're gonna have amaranth for our, um, what is this? Is this a bug? Yeah, it's a moth. Look at this moth. Okay, getting distracted by bugs. Amaranth. And what I'm actually really excited to show you is my eucalyptus is loving life. Can we talk about this? Look, I have eucalyptus. This is normally grown in Australia, friends. I'm in Ohio. I've never tried growing this before. I bought these starts from Jolly Farmer, so I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't start them from seed. But they are happy little eucalyptus plants. These are gonna be awesome for soaps. They're also gonna be way cool for wreaths and dried wreaths and floral arrangements. They're doing good. 
And then I have nothing here because the rabbit ate it all. And more daisies, which takes us over here. You can hear the girls. Now, things are looking pretty okay. I just mowed, so it looks like fun. That's why I'm making this video, because I just mowed and clean things up. So let's start over here. We've got the basil and tomato line. So we've got, let's count, one, two, three, and they're already getting blooms. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tomato plants. And basil intermixed in between because they're companion plants and they're happy together. And then that takes us over to here, this hot mess. Okay, the squash are doing pretty okay. Look, I've gotten one squash blossom, but it fell off because it was too hot. But these are looking pretty happy. Got some squash over here. This looks like a cucumber that got mixed into the squash mix. So I'm gonna have to trellis them up, which is fine. Squash. Mm, cucumber <laughs> and squash. Oh, I don't even want to talk about this row. Can we talk about the weeds? That's all we're going to talk about. I'm going to reset this row. And the weedy lettuce. But this lettuce, I harvested it all last week for the farmer's market. Oh my God, I'm embarrassed. The weeds. I need a weed. But, I mean, it's growing. Look at how pretty this head of lettuce is. I need that. And then we've got this row of lettuce. I've already harvested it once. It's doing great. This is just my leaf lettuce that I harvest for the market. I'm gonna have to start more. Well, I have more in this row over here, but this row had green beans and the, well, we have some green beans here, but the uh, bunny rabbit keeps eating my green beans. So I planted lettuce to interplant with that. And this is my onion patch that is doing terrible. I'm not even going to talk about it. It's not getting enough nutrients or sun. I don't know. It sucks. So we're not even going to go there. Okay. Um, guys, look at my garlic. I got to pick this garlic scapes. Look at my garlic scape. I got to pick these like on Friday. We're going to have a busy harvest day. Garlic is doing okay. It needs water. It really needs water actually. So I might even harvest some green garlic because I think the rabbit is getting in here and garlic's not happy. I used to have radishes in here. They all bolted. So now we're doing carrots, but uh, the carrots are doing pretty okay. Look at these happy carrots. I've never been able to grow carrots. Thank God for raised beds. Oh, here's a radish that's completely bolted. Let's pull it out. Oh, not the best. We'll give it to the chickens. But I have some cucumbers started here to trellis up here. So that'll be good. And then over here, oh, my strawberry plant that I bought at the farmer's market. It's doing good. A little more lettuce, a little more cucumbers planted over there, and my kale. Kale's doing good. Collard greens, doing good. Now we are over here, the cosmos and more nasturtiums with a ton of eggs on it. Oh no, that's bad. That's really bad. I think those are aphid eggs. Oh, okay. I'm going to just pluck it off completely and we're going to feed it to the chickens. Oh, and same with the flower. Look at that. Oh, that's bad. All right. I'm plucking it off. I'm going to feed it to the chickens. That's bad. Oh no, look at this leaf. Ugh. That's really bad. Oh no. Yeah, that's uh, eggs. Not good. Chickens will love that snack. Oh, they're the big winners today. And then we've got my hibiscus. Look at my hibiscus. We're going to make tea out of it. Got four hibiscus plants. And then we have Celosia row here. Oh man, I'm so mad about those eggs. 
I was supposed to take some of those nasturtiums to the market this weekend. Ugh. Farming is hard. Uh, look at my potatoes. They're doing so good. I gotta top them off. Look at how huge these are. Uh, if you want to grow potatoes in Ohio, you can do it in the ground, but I'd say get them in the bags too. More potatoes I just threw in the ground as an experiment. Some collard greens. <coughs> and a barking dog. Stella, stop. Let's give girls, let's uh, say hi to the girls. Let's give them these snacks. Ready? I'll show you the babies, because if you follow me on social media, you know that uh, now I have three more chickens. And uh, but let's look in the greenhouse, and then we're going to wrap it up, because I have a bajillion things I need to do. Greenhouse. So, planted this in a few weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Peppers. Pepper, pepper, parsley. Pepper, 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 tomato. Tomato, 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 pepper, 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 another cucumber, peppers, colored greens. So the hoop house is doing great, and I already started some more starts. So these are little sunflower starts. They're not doing great, but I'll take it because I'm obsessed with sunflowers. A few extra zinnias, and these are all pumpkins because I don't know if you know me, you know I love pumpkins. So, or in squash. So these are spaghetti squash. These are pumpkins and these are gourds. So I'm gonna plant those probably in the new property. They're doing okay. So these are doing good. I'm probably gonna have collard greens at the market this weekend. Um, and a ton of kale. I gotta harvest this kale. I planted a ton of this for the chickens. So I've been giving the chickens this for scrap, like snacks. So, that's it, pretty much. I mean, there's like the fastest little tour. It's, things have been crazy. And I'll give you a view here. The apple trees, we might be getting some apples. Let's look at that actually, I forgot about this. Look at, am I gonna have apples this year? This is my honey crisp tree. I've been watering it, I don't know. They look kind of wrinkled and sad. We'll see, but lettuce and greens over here. All the things. So let's go say hi to the babies. Um, I don't really want to tell the story, but if you don't follow me on social media, on the other property, I took uh, 16 chicken, 19. Took 19 chickens to the new property. And they raccoon got into the coop. So there are three chickens left. Let me, oh, the girls are in the way. Ugh, I need to figure out this whole situation. It's a mess now that I'm expanding. So I have them in my back coop here. One of them is missing an eye, so be advised, but she's doing pretty good. The other one, two. Oh, wow, she's sleeping right here. There, napping. Hi, hi, sweetie. There's one, she's missing her eye. I gotta clean it out, possibly getting infected. But she's okay. Yep, and then there's the other two. Hi, girls. So they're living here. They're gonna get incorporated into the flock. And uh, that's, that's about the story. And I'm sticking to it. Pip is very interested in them. I'm keeping them separated, obviously because um, that's what you have to do with chickens. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, things have been crazy. Just wanted to document what's going on in this weedy mess of a garden I have. There's lots of lavender, which is great. Lavender is my love. And uh, we're just gonna keep plugging away. It's been a hard year. No rain and um, trying to run this backyard, the new property and everything. It's hard. So thanks for uh, listening to me ramble and probably make you dizzy. But if you guys 
are not subscribed to the videos and my channel, please do subscribe because we're having fun with it, you know, showing you all the different videos. And um, yeah, that's all I got today. I'm really tired. So just wanted to show you guys, say hi. It's been a minute and cool. I appreciate all of you and I hope you're having an awesome day. All right, bye.